Hello, my name is Eva Stolz, and this presentation is about what is quantum biofeedback. So I'm going to talk a bit the theory behind it, programs within this QXED that I, my device that I have, and how does it work practically. Uh, so the theory behind is quantum physics. And everything is energy and everything vibrates in a certain frequency. So, and also the particles may be connected even though they do not touch. So this is very abstract quantum physics for our minds, but it works. And as I said, I have a QXPD and that's a device from QX World in Hungary. And the biofeedback training does not cure diseases, but it reduces stress in the body and the mind and train it to improve the body's self-healing capacity. So we can heal with the training. So within this device, uh, it's 12,000 frequencies or signatures in it. And that's uh, frequencies of organs, both healthy and not healthy. And for healing herbs, homeopathic products, Ayurvedic medicines, pathogens, and um, so many more like crystals, flower essences, uh, uh, and a lot more. So uh, in the, the device is connected to a computer with a software, where it's one main program and five complementary programs. So I'm going to show you just a few examples here. So after you have done the calibration and the, the first settings in the program, the body is scanned or the system is scanned, the body and mind. And uh, after the scanning, there is a long, long list. So to the left here is uh, the frequencies with the highest reactance, reactive reactivity when the uh, client was scanned. Uh, so we can see what is repeated here, what is coming again and again. So there are a lot of things about female hormones. So that's a problem in this client. And also uh, eye, eyes. And this is the top of the list with the lowest number that the body hasn't re uh, reacted on. But that it could be important too, that it could be an issue that has been in the client for a very long time, so long that the body doesn't respond to the frequency anymore. Uh, because it has been there, the, the body thinks it's a part of it. So it's good to go up and look at the lowest numbers too and see uh, what problem there is in there. So when you have information from the main program, there are also other ways to gather more information. Then we could go into the complementary uh, programs. So this is the body viewer. You can see all the in the toolbar here a lot of different pages in this program. I just show since they come up twice about the eyes and problems in the eyes. So then I can go into the organ system and choose eyes. And for this client, I would also go in and choose the endocrine system because the hormones were not in balance. Another example is the chakra system where we have the energy flow. It's important to have it uh, the energy flowing. So either you can choose to have the whole chakra system balanced or worked on, trained, or you can go into a specific chakra if you know this is the client need this, so this is the heart chakra, for example. And another iridology is when you look at the iris in the eyes to see if there are um, what issues this uh, person has. So this has also a lot of different pages, and I've just picked two of them. This is, I've picked the uh, you can pick here, for example, digestion, or you can pick hip pain if it has a problem with the heart. Digestive system, system a lot of um, uh, persons have problems with the digestion. And here it comes up a lot of lines, and they are filled out by the program itself. 
so it's works, working in the background to uh, train the body for this information here. And there are also some empty lines that I have put in the numbers because each, each frequency has or signature has a specific number. So I have a list with a lot of numbers and this is for the digestion. I uh, uh, just copied and pasted them in here. So they are working and improving this um, uh, training here. And this is another um, page anatomy. And here you can choose if you want to. Oh, I know this client has a problem with the parathyroid. Then I go and check that uh, or choose that. Or I can uh, press this button, auto search, and then the sinuses came up. So this client needs something, it has a problem with the sinuses. <clears throat> Disease dictionary, another uh, program. In the same manner here, you can choose if you want to. If you know this client has a problem with the addiction, you can go and pick addiction here. Or I can use this unconscious choice generation scan. It's another program. And the theory behind this is that when we go through a emotional trauma, there will be uh, formation in the brain called hammer herds. There were physician that came up with this theory. And those uh, you can see this formation in the brain, like small dots or circles. And um, those formations may in time cause diseases somewhere else in the body of this person. So this program tried to um, train the body to remove this um, hammer herds. And this is uh, not, the, well, here it says it. they have found some hammer herds in the left part of the brain. And that's connected to the uh, small intestine. And there is big or biofeedback interface graphic graphics that is connected to the main program as the others are too but here you, uh, you put in some certain um, frequencies or signatures and uh, emotional is these two are in for emotions and then they will come up here in this program and work in the background the whole ses session and I can also type in if I know this person has problem with fatigue for example or hormones I could have picked that too so that's also working in the background and now we are back in the main program I just have a few examples of what I um, think is good program there, there are so many but I have just a few examples the nutrients are of course extremely important and we have a overview of all the nutrients here vitamins amino acid minerals and digestion and then we can go in for the specific and choose the vitamin b's and then you can see how they look and the clients will of course get the interpretation how how to know if, it, if they are out of balance or if they are good so the spine is also very important the chakra system is going along the spine, so we need a good, uh, healthy spine to get the energy flowing. So you can see this uh, upper part of the spine is pink here, so there's a problem here, and some specific problem in those vertebras that are colored. So then I can go in, for example, in Body Viewer, the other one of the um, complementary programs, and check out and, and stimulate exactly those vertebras. Um, and trauma. Here, this client has something happened when the client was nine years old. Has problems connected to the hormon hormones. So that's good to work on this since the client had pro hormonal uh, problems. And there's affirmation about the brain and the nerves. And there is anti-aging program, uh, so it can work on the on the um, skin, but it's going deeper too. Um, and in here, there is a very uh, my one of my favorite program, Past Life. So since I 
to use Vedic astrology to look at the client's chart before I uh, train them with biofeedback. I can see if, if they are coming in previous lives from dark uh, energies or have a difficult previous lives, then they have a lot of uh, anxiety and fear and maybe anger inside. And then it's good to go into this program to work uh, with that. So how does it work practically? You should get an appointment, contact me on this email address, info at stodsyoga.se. Um, and you can do it remote biofeedback, or you can come to my, uh, come here to Örebro, where I am. And then you are connected to a harness around the head and the arms and, and the legs. But remote biofeedback works very well also. And before uh, the training, you will fill out a form for the Vedic astrology chart. The birth time is very is necessary to get, and it should be as correct as possible uh, to get a good reading. So the first session, I usually gather lots of information, lots of information at the same time as a trained body. So nutrients go through spine, organs, uh, emotions, hormones, trauma, toxins such as uh, environmental toxins or uh, toxins in the digestive tract. If you don't uh, can if you can't digest certain uh, elements. And um, viruses and pathogens, other pathogens. And first time, it's also very important to be very careful and open up all the elimination organs like the lymph, bowel, lungs, kidney, liver. So if something is, is released during the biofeedback, it has to go out of the body easily. So it's good to, to drink a lot of water and do a detox at the same time as you do this. So how many sessions do I need? One time, it's very difficult to say. One time might be enough, but sometimes many sessions are required. And the longer you have had the problem, the longer it takes to solve it. So contact me if you have any questions. Um, on email, you can go to my web page. I have some information in English there. So hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.